not just joy, exceeding joy. What is exceeding? Over. <laughs> over the normal, overflow, exceeding joy in the Holy Spirit. Hebrews 1, 9. You have loved righteousness, integrity, virtue, uprightness, in purpose, and have hated lawlessness, injustice, or sin. Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness above your companions. Who was uh, this verse referred to? Who? Huh? Elijah. Elijah? Huh? No, it's Jesus. All right. It's talking about Jesus. That he has, Jesus loved righteousness and hated lawlessness. All right. Therefore, God has anointed you, Jesus first, with the oil of gladness. We are all in Christ. Whatever happens to Christ, well, if we are, yeah, we are the recipient. All right. So this word gladness, this is the anointing of the oil of gladness, which in uh, Greek is agalio or agaliasis. Okay. We have. Uh, study a bit of Hebrew, which is uh, simka, right? Also many uh, Hebrew words for joy, but now we are going to study this one. The oil of gladness. Gladness is just a translation in English of the original Hebrew word agaliasis. So let's see what is this. You have loved what is right and hated what is wrong. Right, started with our Lord Jesus. Jesus loved the things, the right things. He hated the uh, right, uh, right things. Right. So for us human beings, we normally love the wrong things and hate the wrong things. So <laughs> okay. So Jesus was different. That's why in the first session we talk about righteousness. Right, his righteousness. Therefore, therefore he received the oil of gladness. Now, Christ is the righteousness of God, and one of the uh, understanding, he he loved right things, righteousness, okay? And he hated lawlessness, hated sin. He don't hate the sinner, he hates sin. And because he loved righteousness, God poured upon him the oil of gladness. And do you see something for yourself this morning? Yeah? When we love righteousness, God's righteousness, having the right standing, which we cannot do by our own, but receive it from the Lord by faith. And now we are able to love righteousness and hate lawlessness as well from the new spirit man. And the blessing from that, right? Remember the effect of righteousness is peace, confidence, trust, and also the this one, which is the oil of gladness, okay? Agaliasis means exaltation or extreme joy and gladness. Okay, more than the normal extreme. <clears throat> you will say you understand the word extreme, right? Agalio, it comes from the word agalio, which means exceeding joy, extreme joy to exalt, rejoice exceedingly. So in the understanding a rejoice, some people will think rejoice, ha, 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 ha. or you put ha 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 or the in the WhatsApp, you know, and then uh the, the, the what do you call the thing? Are the emojis, yeah. right? And then we think, oh, that's rejoicing already. <laughs> okay, so God has a different under a version of rejoicing. Exceedingly be glad. Hello, my also comes from hello, my means ah to jump for joy over and over again. To spring up a gush up of water or leap. Ah, so we have Gazel here is the one who leaps, right? <laughs> Gazelle is a deer. Okay, mm -hmm. they don't walk, they leap, <laughs> they jump. Okay, but the reason for jumping up and down here is being filled with this exceeding joy or agalio. That's why you see uh, last night a few hitting the... Uh, <laughs> your, your physical body being filled with such a abundance of this spiritual power of joy begins to boom. Right? Because you cannot stand still. Power comes into you. Electric power, you will jump, right? You will scream. How many of you put your finger into uh, the plug point and then can smile there and make and post, <laughs> and post selfie? <laughs> cannot, right? There's such a power going through. Your body will react. So when the presence or anointing of God comes in, whether it's fire, joy, electricity, feels like that, your body responds. 
right? React. That's why someone cannot stand, they have to fall down. When people ask, hey, why people fall down uh, under the spirit? The answer <laughs> by this man of God, he just said, oh, because they cannot stand with you. <laughs> it's so simple, right? You cannot stand, so you fall down. Uh. Okay? Because a greater power is coming into your body, right? Because in heaven, the power of God, the glory of God is so great. This body cannot tahan, cannot stand. That's why God has to give us a new body that can stand. Imagine the how many tons of gallons or uh, how do you measure uh, power? Uh, watts, uh, uh, how many watts in heaven? Much more than our electric company here can give us, right? But that's why we cannot go up there in this body. Okay? <clears throat> so this is Hello My jumping for joy over and over again, right? And we can we have seen some of this. For a small group like this, we saw a few already, uh, especially our uh, Joseph, right? If some of you have seen, where is he? <laughs> oh, oh, he's here, but uh, Joseph, okay. Yeah? Oh, his room. Okay. And each time he comes and receives the anointing, there will be a leaping and jumping, and you know his normal character, he doesn't do that at all. <laughs> Even laugh or so, we hardly hear him in the normal. That's why it's done by the Spirit. And it is to release him, I believe, for uh, something that God wants to do in his life. All right, so we can see. Greatly rejoice, or Agal Leo from Agan, means much, right? We are in the year of Deshan, Dashen, abundance this year. The Lord has... Uh, spoken by the Holy Spirit that in this year of uh, pay Dalet in Hebrew, that God is going to give us fats. <laughs> we eat the fat of the land, abundance. All right. And abundance means much, much. One of the things that is going to pour out abundantly, both grain, spiritual material, is rejoice or joy. Much and halomai cause a person to jump. Gush, leap, spring up means literally to jump much and leap for joy. So in the world, they leap for joy when what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Turn out lottery, right? That one no need to tell them. Turn out lottery, they can suddenly jump higher than normal. Right? Because but it is a temporary thing it's a, it's a, from this physical world. And it may last or may not last because they may lose their ticket. <laughs> And by the time they go and claim the money, the person wears a ticket, I cannot find you. <laughs> or Hannah stole already. <laughs> so it can last for that moment, and then the next moment when the thing is no more there, it's gone. Right? We learned yesterday about righteousness, peace, and joy. Peace is a covenant forever. Whatever God gave us in the spirit is not only temporary for a moment. Right? So this is a different understanding of why you would live for joy. So I believe we're going to see more people live for joy. Mm -hmm. And when we go public or club clubbing, <laughs> I was trying to figure out what Elijah was saying. We are going to go uh, public, right? He said, we're going to go clubbing. Okay, right? <laughs> okay, good. Clubbing in the spirit. They don't jump like up and down in the clubbing for no reason. They just jump, 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 right? And after that, they go, go back. They are very sad, very depressed all over again, right? Temporary. So ours is the spiritual clubbing, good. Where the demons cannot knock by our clubs. <laughs> okay. So we will, uh, when we have been see as God begin to grow this ministry and open to others, right, public, <laughs> to come in, you'll see more people being blessed, right, by the, the, the presence of God, by the Holy Spirit, and set free, most important. Skip and jump. Uh, skip and jump. Okay, guys, so to, this morning we see you later. <laughs> skip and jump. <laughs> like a gazer, like a deer, a gazelle. Skip and jump with happy excitement and so to be exceedingly joyful, overjoyed, exuberantly happy. Why we celebrate all the festivals, especially the, he, the Jewish people? Why did God give them so many celebrations and festivals? Festival means what? Joy, happy, why well, you have to celebrate Chinese New Year? Uh, 
parents may not enjoy it because it's the gift <laughs> ampau. <laughs> but children love it, right? Yeah. So that's why it's very happy, right? Debra, very happy. Yeah? Collect, collect uh, ampau. It's a time of celebration. Uh, even communion means to celebrate, right? They, uh, if you look, read in the book of Acts, when they gathered together, they celebrated communion. Communion is not solemn and uh, you know, sad and all that. Celebration, because we have come into something eternal, wonderful blessing. We become exuberantly happy and overjoyed. Okay, the idea is, is this person shows their excessive aesthetic joy by leaping and skipping. Not the one that you post for Wi-Fi. <laughs> oh, VP, oh, VP. <laughs> right? Okay, everybody ready? Then jump. <laughs> then take a picture. After that, yeah, all the, the grumpy face come back, the sad face, miserable one, just for a single moment taking the picture. Not that type. All right? What God gave us is not like that. Okay, it is the described jubilant exaltation, a quality of joy that remains unhindered and unchanged by what happens. So the one that we jump because you're somebody tell you you're gonna take a post picture, mm -hmm. right? After that finish, uh, the the your phone ring, then the somebody call you. Your bill not yet paid. Your electricity is going to be cut off soon. Your phone not paid. Da 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 da. Right? And then what happened to that leaping? <laughs> Go on with the wind, right? So remember what God gives us is not like that. It's not changed by what happens situation in the physical realm. Agalio describes an exceeding joy independent of dire circumstances. So whatever situation challenges we may be facing at the moment, you see, some people have already got into deep problem. Better don't say the SHIT, <laughs> right? Before they come to know the Lord, right? So many years already, let's say, for, for example, we got into debt and all that. Then you think we, when we come to the Lord, you think immediately everything settled, you throw down money. So that's why it takes some time. We may still be uh, going through some challenges still. But if we learn and follow God's principles and understand what He is doing, He will slowly get us out of it. Right, this morning we also read the promise for the children of Israel are uh, just now in communion. Pastor Cheng Lan shared, right? His children will not need to borrow, right? They will never lack, right? They will they're, they're at the top and not at the bottom. So we don't, oh, okay, I come to you now, Lord. Now you be at the top in the become the CEO of the company. So that's not how we interpret God's word. Okay, God will first how we we uh, um, <clears throat> react to or how we respond to current situation first. And the Bible says, he will give you a joy unchanged. So situations may not change instantly, but for sure, if you keep believing God, he will, it will, they will change. Agalio described an exceeding joy independent of dire circumstances, which is initiated and empowered by the Holy Spirit, not by the cameraman. <laughs> okay, initiated, initiated and empowered by who? Holy Spirit. Ah, Holy Spirit initiated that exceeding joy. Holy Spirit empowered. All right, that joy flowing out. Some of you describing or experiencing it. In Luke one verse forty one, it occurred when Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting. The baby lived in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled and controlled. By the Holy Spirit. So we have been reading this, uh, especially our former Catholic <laughs> Elijah, right? Okay, we can joke about it already, right? It's, it's huh? over already, yeah, yeah. But it is interesting. So, but we don't joke at Catholics, okay? Yeah. So we just understand and they haven't got the revelation yet. So here in this uh, incident, Elizabeth is who? <laughs> Uh, in relation to Mary, cousin, cousin, right? So uh, Mary, God told her that she will be the one conceived of the Holy Spirit to be the mother of Jesus without any contact with the husband, Joseph. So when Elizabeth, the cousin, heard that the Mary was uh, <clears throat> coming, that uh, or the greeting of Mary, that means that Mary went to meet her, Elizabeth was also pregnant. Remember? Yeah, also a miracle one, okay? Because uh, the husband didn't believe and he was muted. 
Remember? Uh, <laughs> he was muted, right? Means he cannot speak. Okay? For until the baby come out. It's because his was an unbelief. All right? But Mary didn't have that unbelief. Remember? Hers was just, how can it happen? Since I don't know a man. Huh? Who? Elizabeth. Yeah, so it was uh, in the natural also not possible for, for, that, for that case. So God don't want us to speak. Already he, he wants to do something in your life, a miracle. Sometimes he has to shut our mouths <laughs> because we go and cancel all the things, right? By speaking, God said, I want to give you abundance. Said, our mouth say, where can I go? I only got a job. Maybe I no more job already. And so everything canceled. When God said, I uh, like what Madeline shared just now, right? She dared to tell the doctor, no, I believe my Lord will restore me, right? So we don't cancel what God wants to do in our lives by our words, okay? Death and life is a part of the tongue. So in this situation, let's see. Elizabeth, when Mary greeted her, how do you greet? You speak, right? There are words. You say hello or something. Probably shaloma. The baby leaped inside her womb. And the Bible says she was filled and controlled by the Holy Spirit. So the leaping of the baby is a work of the Holy, ah, Holy Spirit. So when there's a conception, the Bible tells us there's already a life, a new life. And Holy Spirit was controlling this baby who was leaping inside the womb. She cried out with a loud cry and then exclaimed, Blessed, favored of God above all other women, this Elizabeth, talking are you and blessed favor of God is the fruit of your womb, right? As she spoke, the baby was sleeping. That's why you understand the moment you speak God's word, the anointing is a joy, boom, right? Yeah, the joy begins to flow out. Fire, the fire flows out. Okay, the, what your spirit hears God's word and respond accordingly to God, right? And how I have a deserved this honor should be granted to me, the mother of my Lord should come to me. So behold, the instant the sound of your salutation reached my ears, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. Right? First, you have to hear Shema Israel. <laughs> Remember that teaching, right? Particular. Listen, listen. So when we hear God's words, right? Being spoken, so for uh, people in the mothers in the natural, you can speak to your baby in the womb. They can hear, right? Words are going beyond the natural uh, realm, especially God's word, the spirit and his life. So when you say something, there is power in that word, right? When Delia declares herself, I'm healthy, I'm by his stripes, I'm healed, right? I'm strong, right? When a stomach uh, thing, right? Then what happens? The spirit man rise up and the power of healing begin to flow through your whole body. Okay, so the baby heard that the sound of uh, Mary's words and the baby leaped for joy. And this is the word agaliasis, all right, that we just learned earlier, the meaning of joy. One of the words is agaliasis. There's another one, kara, which is the quiet joy, all right? This one is the extreme joy. That will cause you to jump and leap. That's why the even the little baby in the womb can leap. <laughs> can you think about that? All right, and then the old old people, not say old lah, the more <laughs> elderly. I don't want to do that. You feel it also, you don't want. <laughs> right, that's why the mind stops. Right, what the spirit wants to do. Okay, and blessed and happy to be envied is she who believed that there will be a fulfillment of the things that were spoken to her from the Lord, right? So many times we miss the promises. It's not because God is not faithful, because we don't believe God said this, and then we think cannot happen or not. <laughs> Maybe we believe for one day, <laughs> and then the next day, I look at all the situation, it's not going to happen. God said, I will give you abundant life. Say, hope so lah. But look at my finances now. How lah? So we don't believe. That's why I ask you, when you read the word, there's a quickened word. Put down the date if you feel quickened to you. Right? It's not to the head. This is the rhema. And if there is a promise, whether to prophecy, right, from the, uh, the, the man of, or woman of God, put it, write it down. This time God spoke this promise to me and you will see, I will, you believe you will see the fulfillment 
of the promise. All right. Okay. So this is what uh, Elizabeth did. Uh, next one, right? Mary said, my soul magnify and extol the Lord and my spirit rejoices. Which part of the hill rejoice? <laughs> Your spirit, again, is the Greek word agalesis. In what? In God, my Savior. Your spirit, man, is the part that is rejoicing. Aga, yes, it's that leaping with joy that doesn't make sense to, or logic to your mind. So he said, I'm having so much problems, bills to pay, the mind, the soul area is telling you all these things. But your spirit, once it hears the word of God, the salutation of God, peace be unto you, prosperity and blessing. Whoa, your spirit is the one that rejoices, that want to lead, or want to believe God and want to, uh, celebrate, right? Believing in God, my Savior. So that is your spirit. Hey, remember, in the Bible, you'll see very clearly spirit, soul, and body once you have been uh, aware of spirit, soul, and body. However, your real source of joy isn't merely that these spirits subject. Uh, another incident, all right, is the, <clears throat> the, the incident where this uh, Philippian, uh, no, this one, the, 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 the disciples of Jesus, right? They went out to preach and then they came back to Jesus. Uh, Jesus sent them out two by two and then they came back. They were very excited, right? That the demons were subject to them. And Jesus told them the real joy or source of joy is not just that spirits uh, submit to your authority, but your names are written in the journals of heaven and that you belong to God's kingdom. This is the true source of your authority. And uh, it's not just, oh, okay, my name is written in heaven. I, uh, I got registered there already, so I'm happy. What is actually the, the revelation behind this? I shared before. <laughs> Most of people are excited. Oh, you can, you know, cast out demons. Demons are subject to you. So I shared a bit of the difference <laughs> experience yesterday, right? But then Jesus pointed out to the greater joy which is your name being written in heaven. And what does that really mean? What is that revelation? Because for some people, oh yeah, I got saved already, praise the Lord. There is no... Uh, <laughs> that Jesus talked about. So what was it? Why your name? What is Jesus bringing them back to? Hmm? A kingdom of God. Okay. How what how does a person get saved? Oh, how can it have ever happen? By yeah, it is God's grace, right? By believing, it is God who gave them that ability to believe Him and be saved, and Jesus who saved them, pointing back to not our authority. So they were thinking, "Wow, Master, you know, we can cast out devils, one man." You know, sometimes we think we are the one who is doing a lot of things, all these powerful things, yeah? But Jesus, point them back, your salvation. Your salvation is God gave you. God saved you, right? That is the most, most joyful thing that everyone can rejoice here. Imagine, because eternal life, right? If you can have, Jesus said, you can have the whole world and lose your soul, your salvation, Yeah. No point, you have billion dollar, billion dollar, and you lose, it. you spend eternity in hell. Yeah. So this is the most precious. May it become a reality to us that we treasure this salvation, right, that God has given us in Christ. Then Jesus, overflowing with the Holy Spirit joy, here again, is Holy Spirit's joy. So if Holy Spirit's joy, what type of joy? is agalio. <laughs> right? So when we come under the anointing, it's anointing of who? Holy Spirit. Spirit. So Holy Spirit, the agalio. That's why he laughed through the person. He brings that joy through. Exclaim, Father, thank you for you are Lord supreme over heaven and earth. You have hidden the great revelation of this authority from those who are proud, those wise in their own eyes, and you have shared it with those who humble yourselves. Yes, Father, this is what pleases your heart to give these things to those who are like trusting children. Then he took them up to his house and set food before them, and he leaped for joy. This is Acts chapter 16. Agalio and exalted with his family that he believed in God 
accepting the joyously welcoming that he had made through food. What who this verse is talking about who? Because I cannot give you all the scriptures very long. About the no, who, who, who is he? Who is this that leap for joy? His family belief in God. The Philippine jailer. Oh, <laughs> oh yes, yes. Remember, Paul and Silas were in prison and they praised a lot. They worship had worship session in the prison. And then after that, God opened by the Holy Spirit. Broke open the prison doors. So jailer is the one who is the guard, right? Guarding yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, and then when he saw the the prison doors open, he, he said, Charm law. <laughs> right? Because his job is to make sure the prisoners stay inside the prison. And now the prison doors open already. Who is going to go after him? He's a higher, higher boss, right? So he wanted actually to kill himself already. Yeah, kill himself. But Paul told him no, right? And then uh, shared with him the gospel and he was the Philippine jailer, uh, took Paul and Silas to his house and gave them physical food to eat. <laughs> so yeah, because they've been in prison, no food to eat, they've been uh, yeah. suffering there. And then he lived much for joy, right? It was such a great joy for this Philippine jailer and exalted. That is where you got the verse that once saved, your whole family will be saved, right? And with all his family, that he believed God. So the whole family believed God after the incident. And what was the thing? The joy that Jesus talked about, right? It's the agalio joy. They were leaping. So, you know, we leap over uh, ticket, uh, what, uh, uh, 4D. Here they are leaping with joy just over salvation. See how the church have forgotten that this salvation is so wonderful. It's the greatest gift that you can ever receive from the Lord. That's why believers are meant to be joyful all the time, right? If they understand their spiritual uh, gift that God has given them. Okay. Be glad and rejoice, Isaiah 65, forever in that which I create. God, uh, God said to the prophet, for I create Jerusalem to be a rejoicing and her people a joy. That's la the last few weeks of which one I talk about our God laughs, right? Full of joy. Right? He laughs. He created Jerusalem, the Jews, the Jewish people for what? To rejoice, to be you know, whatever circumstances in this world, they were to reflect a joyful God, a joyful nation, right? regardless of the physical, but God was going to bless them if they follow what he said. The people were to be a joyful people, but the new creation, solemn assembly, <laughs> right? So new creation could have, have more reason to rejoice than the Jewish people. Don't you think so? Yeah, they have God's blessings, but they have, Jesus haven't come yet during that time, but they have righteousness accred accredited to them. But today we have we have Jesus' experience of Christ Himself. Okay, so God wants the purpose of God in your life is to give you the fullness of joy. Your favorite verse, Elsa, in His presence in Psalms, right? In His presence is fullness of yeah, no fullness of. <laughs> oh, very clever, already. <laughs> Right, because sometimes we hear, we hear if we don't contrast this, if preachers don't contrast it for you, we don't realize, all right, that we are in the opposite side of what actually God wants to give us. He wants to give us fullness of joy and at his right hand, pleasures forevermore, like the Garden of Eden, a life of pleasure and a life not of pleasure. There is a restoration back to the Garden of Eden for the new creation in Christ Jesus if we would understand it, all right, and get the revelation. Okay. So you are to be a joy, Deborah. <laughs> a joy to the Heavenly Father. There was an Abigail means the joy of the Father, right? Yeah. <clears throat> and I will rejoice in Re Jerusalem and be glad in my people. See, God rejoices. Ah. <laughs> More scriptures, right? In the, the previous session, I showed you God laughs, right? 
Now I can give you all the scriptures. Now got more. I will rejoice. God rejoices. If uh, another prophecy from prophet, I will rejoice in my people, right? And be glad in my people. The sound of weeping will no more be heard in it, nor the cry of distress. Why did Jesus come for? Why did God create the Jewish people? Right? So that he can hear his children laugh, joyful all the time. That was what was meant for Adam and Eve. So it's a garden of pleasure. But they chose because they were given free will and therefore they fell into the devil's trap. And then instead of joy, you have weeping. Right? So you can, if you read the Bible properly, all right, God will always say, your weeping will cease. No more. No more weeping. All right? So beginning for someone who come to the Lord, yes, there may be some crying. All right? Because it's still in the soul area. Still in the mind where we think of all the troubles that we have gone through, all the challenges that we are facing. So it's fine. All right? Some the first, first uh, uh, outburst may be tears and all that. But God will turn those tears into Yes, Dahlia, into laughter and joy. This one is, you want to know the will of God? God wants you to be happy. God wants his people to be happy, right? And he made it possible through Jesus Christ taking the punishment for your sin. He, I want, I will rejoice in Jerusalem, be glad in my people. The sound of weeping will no more. That's what you call, I give you abundant life. No more, we have Delia crying there. Uh, I don't know how to face the future. I don't know what to do. And all that. He doesn't want his children like that, right? And therefore, he, that's why he will come and give you blessing. If you will look to him, right? First, the spiritual blessing of joy. Isaiah's prophecies utilizing Agalios culminate in this beautiful promise declaring to his beloved, beloved, be glad and rejoice. Right? Paul also says that, right? Paul says that as well. Agalamiyama, yesterday righteousness is like Yasu, right? <laughs> <laughs> now, rejoice. Agalamiyama calls for jumping for joy forever in what I create. For behold, I create Jerusalem for rejoicing. He created the church to rejoice. Huh? When the Holy Spirit came down, they, they were like drunk people, right? Yeah, they were probably happy, could be laughing, because when do you call a person drunk? Those who have gone clubbing before. <laughs> Nothing wrong, right? Whatever it is in the past, okay, God doesn't remember, but just for understanding. Remember drunk people? Huh? Drunk people? We yeah, seem to be very happy one, right? <laughs> That's why people say, I've got so much problems, go and drink, uh, drink, 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 and then they forgot the problems. And then the next day, hangover. <laughs> the problems are more that the postman came and delivered more bills to them, right? So, but this drunk in the spirit or drunk on that day when the Holy Spirit came was very different, right? But manifestation physically was like that. So we just remember this. You were created new creation for joy, to be a joyful people, of her people for gladness. Aga liao, 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 bo liao. Aga liao, okay? Aga liao. Okay. The Lord himself, well, so we know, kiasu <laughs> for um, righteousness, dia <laughs> kiasu, and then jam for Joy, which is Agaliao. Finish already. It is finished. Okay. It doesn't mean that. Otherwise, you say, Pastor Deborah teach wrong thing. <laughs> okay. There's a joke only. Okay. But Agaliao means the Lord Himself will jump for joy in Jerusalem and be glad. Festive type of joy. Cheerful one. All right. For uh, Rachel, receive a lot of unpow for the children. Right. There's a cheerful, festive, merry joy. You say, Merry Christmas, Merry, happy, be in my people, I'll be glad in my people. And there will no longer be heard in her the voice of weeping and the sound of crying. That's why in the church, when the Holy Spirit comes, there's a joy of laughter, there's a joy of uh, happiness. Okay, no more, because God's word say He doesn't want to hear us sad. He wants His people to be happy. Okay. The Lord God Almighty Himself jumping for joy. Can you imagine this? 
or oh, many people imagine God on the throne them very grumpy God. <laughs> this one not behaving. Take the rotan. Angel, go and punish her. This one not behaving. Punish her. It's God like that? No. He is a happy God. Right? He jumps for joy. That's why you have David. We will dance like David done. Right? He was the king. He was representing our king of kings. Right? Dancing when what was why was he dancing that 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 part where he almost uh you know took out all his clothes right what was the occasion yeah it was not a strike lottery right <laughs> it was the ark of the covenant being brought back to the Jewish people and that brought him that when what does the ark of the covenant represent huh. Yes, the presence of God. And what we have today is the presence of God through the Holy Spirit. Spirit. When we are in the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. That's why David jumped and jumped and jumped. He was, his uh, jumping was so much that the, the jacket all come out. <laughs> the clothes all come out. Until his wife despised him, right? Because he was in the spirit that time, the wife was not. Yeah. So this is our God who jumps for joy okay <clears throat> you may be suffering today beloved but there is a new day coming yeah in all those prophecies if you are suffering you're downcast in the present focus upon the your future what what's so good about your future it's just okay. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say Oh, this is coming <laughs> yeah that's one right the blessed hope as i paul talk about it Oh, 2,000 years ago already. Besides that, the worst, the, the Bible promised that your future, so Jeremiah 21, 11, is, is no good. good. Yeah, good. It's good. If we get the word into our spirit, we are not afraid. Our future can mean tomorrow, uh, the day starting from tomorrow. All right? Or oh, today, after, after now. If we don't have that word of God, there are many other promises, right? about the future, that it is good. That's why we are downcast. We cannot see that the future is good. But you meditate on God's word. He says that, Gazel, your future is <laughs> it's good. Amen. Yeah, it is what God promised you so that you can rejoice, you can celebrate. All right, right now. Okay. Habakkuk. Yeah. <laughs> when I think of proper Habakkuk, I always think of my friend who called her cat Habakkuk. <laughs> I said, Habakkuk? I said, okay, never mind. Habakkuk was, trans was transformed from a man in despair to a man jumping for joy as he began to turn his focus upon God, finally concluding that in uh, these uh, verses, 17 and 18, whatever happens, I will continue to thank the Lord. If there are no flowers on the fig trees, if there are no grapes on the vines, if there are no olives on the olive trees, if there are no crops in the fields, if the sheep are dying in the hills, if there are no cows on the farm, if there, I didn't strike first prize, <laughs> I will still sing to the Lord and thank the Lord. I will be happy, easy version, all right? easy to understand. I will rejoice. I will live for joy because God is the one who makes me safe. Who is the one who makes you safe? Uh, not Magnum. <laughs> okay. Not all this, even though sometimes, because I explained to you why, all right, you, you may be facing all that because we got ourselves into trouble because of our own uh, uh, stupidity. So, but then God says, now you come to him, good news. I'm going to take you out of all those problems, yeah? And whatever it is. So, but at this point, while you are still facing all these challenges, what is God's view? Yes, this is called faith. This is what is moving our living, the power of faith. Remember uh, Romans uh, 1, 16, 17, moving from receiving the life, the eternal life, the new life, to you move from receiving to living. <laughs> okay, to living the life, living the powerful life. Okay, I will sing to thank the Lord. I'll be happy. So despite whatever situation, you still rejoice. That's why the uh, Bible says, 
rejoice in the Lord always. No matter what situation, no matter good news, bad news, because you know God will cause you to dwell in safety. Right? Yet I, in the verse just now, the I or the ego, the, your old person placed first in a sentence of emphasis, will exalt Agalio in the Lord. So whatever physical uh, circumstances or challenges that we are facing, we have we can have a will, the soul era. I choose. I choose to rejoice, but not in the sickness, in the Lord, Lord because he is good. <laughs> His exceeding joy comes from Focusing on Jehovah, I am, right? God declares himself as I am. That means I am. Whatever you need, I am. You need health, you need healing, I am health and healing to you. You need money, I am the money to you. Yeah, I am your provision. Anything and everything you will ever need. Help, uh, the Lord, God causes me to be strong. He makes my feet run safely over the rocks and hills like a hazel speed. <laughs> yeah, this is what the, the prophet prophesied, the one who was, you know, declared just now. Right? Whatever situations, I will still, Agalio, I will still rejoice because God is the one who made me strong and he made my feet run like a deer's feet. You know, when the fire of God comes, uh, I've seen in a bigger congregation all that the people some are so caught in the fire their feet they run all over the place they will run all over Cameron Highlands yeah. <laughs> Elsa because when your feet got fire you run another <laughs> you run the spirit the spiritual fire the Holy Spirit can cause all these kinds of responses in our body when we allow Him to fill us like a deer's feet you run you jump you leap so it is not out of the Bible. The Lord God is my strength, which is dynamis, inherent power, ability. He has made or arranged, put in order, station my feet. Yeah, God made our feet, right? Psalm 139. So when the spirit inside is joyful, leaping by the Holy Spirit, your physical feet also will jump, right? Like Heinz feet, the baby in uh, Elizabeth's womb leap for joy and makes me walk on high places. First, the spiritual realm. If you can uh, walk uh, uh, as the righteousness of God in the spiritual realm, it will manifest into the physical realm and change the physical situations that you are facing. Psalms 95, Oh, come, let us sing for joy. Okay, not sing because the worship leader said, come, let us all stand up and sing. <laughs> okay, there is an internal joy. This joy is Agalio. Let's sing and jump for joy unto who? The Lord. Lord. Come on, everyone. Let's sing for joy to the Lord. Let's shout our loudest praises to our God who saved us. That's why salvation, we need to have the revelation how priceless is that salvation that God gave us. So root back to Romans 14, 17. God's kingdom isn't about eating food and drinking, but about righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. Yes, the Holy Spirit, the kingdom of God. Where is the kingdom of God now? Ah, within you, your spirit man that is now experiencing three things. Peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Okay, last slide. Um, on the most important day of the feast, the last day, what, what feast was that they were having? <clears throat> Passover. <laughs> that point, right? They were having... This, this is not the... um. A Pentecost. Okay, Pentecost. Uh, the, the last day, all of you thirsty ones. So this is the last day of our Holy Spirit power feast. Huh? <laughs> Let us come. Jesus said, come to me. Come to me and drink. Believe in me so that what will happen? Rivers of living water will burst out from within you. Flowing from your innermost being, just like the scripture says, 
Jesus was prophesying about the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit that believers were being prepared to receive. At that point of time, uh, Jesus hasn't gone to the cross, so the Holy Spirit hasn't come. Now, come already or not? Yes. <laughs> yes. Come right. Pentecost already happened, right? Holy Spirit came on that day in the book of Acts chapter 2. Holy Spirit was poured out. And we saw the whole manifestation of the Holy Spirit coming into the lives of the people. The fire, the joy, the electricity, everything is in the Holy Spirit. And I like the uh, commentary in the TPT. It, it, this one really amazes me and really excites me. Um, <clears throat> translated for Aramaic text, the implication is that God's kingdom realm is a person, Jesus Christ. The reality of God's kingdom appears when Jesus lives within us, eh? yeah. where, by faith, uh, I think I missed out the, another one where it says that when Jesus said the uh, you will drink, and it says a drink becomes a river. You forgot already, huh? It's the commentary. Maybe I gave the wrong one. Or the uh, there's another. Yeah, this is the wrong one. <laughs> Sorry, my peers. Okay, there's another one. You can read it from uh, TPT, right? Which is, the, the you come to drink. The first part is Jesus said, come and drink, right? Mm -hmm. So you drink, all right? Drink from the Holy Spirit, drink from Jesus, Holy Spirit. And as you begin to allow your spirit man to drink, 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 it becomes a... A river, a river. That's why you see everyone ping pong, 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 pong. Yeah. Because from the drink, very gentle one, right? You just take a drink. Yeah. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Then as you drink more, huh? Ah, okay, okay. Let me read it out. Huh? Uh, believe in me so that rivers of living water will burst out from within you. The root word used here is the same as the river Jordan, which means flowing down from your innermost being. Just like the scriptures say, the rivers of living water will flow from his throne within. If you have put Jesus as king, that means there's a throne inside, right? In your spirit, man. So from his throne comes what? The Holy Spirit will cause rivers to flow out from his throne. Right? His throne, not your throne. If you are, if you are seated there as the, the, mm, the master, then our throne, nothing flow out. <laughs> when we have put Jesus as our Lord, yeah, and he is king, then it's his throne, and if it's his throne, a river will flow. In when we go to heaven, right? In Revelation, describe the throne, right? There's a river flowing. Okay. So as that is where in your spirit, man. And uh, he says that a drink becomes a river. So you drink, 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 then you see Naomi. Whoa, the river, the river begins to flow. In Ezekiel, you also have the prophecy of the river, right? Where the water comes from ankle, knee, and all that. So you just start. A little bit. Open your spirit and let the Holy Spirit feel you. Drink a bit. Drink, 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 drink. And then it will turn into a river. Right? Because God wants his people to be happy or sad. Happy. Ah, joy. The world already got no joy. And Christians go there and make uh, join the sad faces. No. Right? You reflect the joy of the Lord. Okay? Amen? Amen. All right. Let's let the Holy Spirit uh, pour. Let the river flow this morning. As we love him, he comes and fills us. 